Here's an exclusive interview of Bharatiya Janata Party stalwart and former Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yedurappa. He's staring at retirement but still hogs all the limelight and headlines ahead of Karnataka Assembly elections. If he does not contest for the Chief Minister's position, what does it mean for Basavraj Bobai and the BJP in Karnataka? Look at this interview. The man behind BJP to come to power in South India, the man who is responsible for BJP to be in power in the state of Karnataka as we speak now, Mr. B. S. Yadurappa. Thank you so much for talking to India today, sir. And very, very happy birthday to you, sir. Thank you, Daniel. Sir, tomorrow Prime Minister Modi will be here in Shumaga to inaugurate the second biggest airport in the state. How do you see this? Your dream come true. The dream has come true. And uh, Modi ji himself told me that uh, if we set the date in your birthday only, that I will come on that day. According to his promise, tomorrow he is going to come and inaugurate the airport. That is an historical day for us. And uh, we are never expected Modi ji is going to give such an importance to the Karnataka. So that he will come and inaugurate the airport. And it is very helpful to the entire state and particularly Shumaga. Uh, those who want to come and invest in the Karnataka, the industrialists, they can easily, they will come. Uh, time is important for them. So that this airport will be helpful to us to build up the party and also uh, uh, industry. So it is um, all, in all respect, it will be helpful to our state. So on the other day you spoke on the floor of the house and four years as a chief minister, 31 years as an MLA, four, four years as an MLC and four years as an MP and you have announced your re retirement from the electoral politics. How was your feeling sir? You see I am not going to retire from the politics. I am not tired and I will go around in the state to build up the party. And I have got 100% confidence that I are going to get absolute majority in Karnataka Assembly. Not only Assembly, for Lok Sabha also you must get absolute majority. So that Prime Minister can you, uh, again become the Prime Minister of India, Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. These two aspects uh, is in mind. And on that respect I will go around in the state to build up the party. And I will see that... Uh, more MLAs that get absolute majority in Karnataka and also get more Lok Sabha members uh, to strengthen Modi ji's government. So you were the face of BJP, whether it is Karnataka or South India. How do you think that the transition will happen in the state of Karnataka? How do you the, see that the, an alternative leader representing BJP as a chief minister face will be accepted by the people? There are so many leaders in Karnataka at the time of uh, the... After the election, the Modi ji and uh, Amisha is going to take decision who should lead the party in Karnataka. And you know very well, our Bamai's government has given very good uh, pro-people program in Karnataka. It is all helpful to us to get back, come back to power in Karnataka. And uh, who should be the lead of the government uh, next time? That will decide by the Prime Minister of India and also Home Minister. But the Congress have a different feeling. They say that you have been sidelined. How do you see this, sir? That is you have not, been sidelined, you have not been given responsibility, you have been thrown out of the power, you have been sent to uh, 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 old age play. Intentionally, these Congress friends are speaking all these things. That is not correct. You know very well. I myself voluntarily resigned for chief ministership and Bama has become the chief minister. I myself decided that after eight years I should not continue in uh, election politics, that's all. So I am not retired from the politics. I am going around in the state to build up the party and I have got 100% confidence that we are going to come back to power in Karnataka. Not only assembly but also Lok Sabha will get absolute uh, seats and uh, Prime Minister is going to become the uh, Prime Minister again, Narendra Modi ji, that we are going to give contribution to more Lok Sabha seat uh, to become the Prime Minister of India. Many political analysts feel that what has happened to Congress after Virendra Patil might replicate on BJP 
if you are retiring from electoral politics? Not at all. I am going to request all our uh, Lingayat community um, brothers that I myself take on this type of decision, not uh, anybody has forced me to retire from politics or uh, nobody asking me to not uh, to contest for next elections. Because I myself take on the decision, our Lingayat community particularly, they will not... Uh, uh, they will understand uh, what decision I have taken is uh, correct and I request all our community people also support Bharati Janta Party and uh, come back to power so that it would help to the party. But if you, if you, if your party had to come back to power, if your party had to retain, there are certain narrators, sir. Lot of criticism on Basuraj Bommai government. Corruption charges, but they are not going to the people on development, rather on a communal angle. Tipu Sultan versus Savarkar, Tipu Sultan versus Rama Hanuman, Tipu Sultan versus other people. This, how do you no, see this narrative, the, sir? The, the, such things, uh, intentionally, few people are uh, creating this problem, particularly Congress leadership. And uh, you know very well uh, about the performance in the government. Particularly, SCST, OBC community are happy that programs were given to that people that they are happy, and also our Modi ji's government contribution to the people of Karnataka and also entire country to help put our party. And Congress are dreaming that uh, already they have come to power and that uh, who should become the chief minister like that they are discussing. The dream will not come. Uh, so that to is a huge difference, sir. When you were a chief minister, you were a chief minister of all community. You've spoken on behalf of Muslims even during the time of COVID when there were attack on that particular community. But now it's a di different narrative. Your own leader, your state president, Nalin Kumar Katil, speak about communal politics. He speaks about no development, talk about love jihad. No development, talk about Tipu I don't Sarkar. agree with Nalin Kumar Katil's statement. On that day only I've given the statement. Nobody should speak like that. Hindu, Muslim, Christians are together we are, uh, must fight and uh, all of uh, and uh, you know very well that Prime Minister Modi ji also very particular about Muslim community also. He has given so many pro people, uh, Muslim community programs also. That will all help to us in next Assam Lok Sabha election and also Assembly election. One statement from Nalin Kumar Katil, it will not affect our party at all. And uh, sir, how do you see the corruption charges on Basuraj Bombay government? That is not 40 correct. 40 percent corruption charges against them and it is damaging the party as well. Not at all. There is no corruption at all. Congress people intentionally, repeatedly telling 40 percent, 30 percent like that. At the time of uh, Sidramaya's regime, they looted money like anything and uh, you know very well we filed a case in Lokayukta also, you will face the consequence. So unnecessarily uh, speaking against Bharati Janta Party that uh, BJP government is corrupt government, that is not correct. And people give proper reply at the time of election. Amit Shah was in Bellari, sir, addressing a huge gathering. He is seeking the oath in the name of Prime Minister. He is seeking the oath in the name of Mies, Mr. B.S. Edirappa. But he is not asking in the name of Basavaraj Bombay. Congress says that he deliberately avoided the name because he is a face of corruption. B.S. Yadiyurappa and uh, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is the face of this particular election, not Pasaraj Bommai. And he will not be the Chief Minister even if BJP comes back to power. Who will be the Chief Minister of Karnataka after election? The central leadership <coughs> is going to take decision. But at the time of the public meeting, Amit ji spoke about me and also Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. Naturally, this leadership will get um, uh, maximum uh, support from the people of Karnataka. That is the reason he has mentioned Modi ji and my name. And uh, that doesn't mean that uh, he has neglected Basaraj Bhammai. Basaraj Bhammai, myself and Modi ji and all together, you will work hard in the Karnataka and we will come back to power. You mean to say still Basaraj Bhammai will be the CM face, even this election? And that will be decided on the All India leaders. Uh, I don't want to comment on that. And sir, you have also announced that you will not contest from Shikaripura, but you have also made a statement about uh, Mr. Vijendra that he will be taken over. Whether you got any kind of green signal from that, I comment. You see, that will be decided on the central leadership.
I just announced that in my place, uh, she, Vijayendra is going to contest. Ultimately, the party will take final decision. But don't you think that he's been snubbed? Because he has proved his capability in KRPET. He has proved his capabilities in uh, Sira. Because these are, KRPET especially Vakkaliga dominated. BJP has never opened an account in Mandya. But still he has proved his capability. But still the recognition has not been given to him. Just because you are the father and they don't want that dynasty politics to that exist. days are gone. In future, he will be given importance and he is going to contact from Shikaripura and he will get uh, uh, maximum support from the people of uh, Shikaripura Taluk and he will uh, come back to power. And afterwards, uh, whatever the responsibility is going to give from the center and the center leadership, he will uh, fulfill that uh, 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 demand. My last question, sir. When you were chief minister, when you were at peak of time, there was crisis in the state of Karnataka. I remember you talking to us, saying that there is no replacement for Edirappa. Edirappa is the replacement for Edirappa. There is no alternative. Do you see the transition now, sir, in the BJP? Now, the, because of uh, so many developments, there are so many leaders in Karnataka to uh, uh, lead the government. And uh, who should be the leader of the government, that will be decided by the central leadership. Thank you so much, sir. Then Here is the captain of the ship, Mr. B.S. Edirappa, who always maintained that he will bring back BJP to power despite being retired from electoral politics. That is the kind of enthusiasm we will be celebrating his 80th birthday. Thank you so much, sir.